My name is Dee Thompson. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are my continued subbies, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support. So I know I've been MIA over the past couple of weeks. I have been trying to process everything that has been going on in our country. I know it has been difficult, but it has definitely been extremely difficult in the black community. So to all my brothers and sisters out there, you know, stay strong, keep working um, for the change that our country so needs. Um, it's time out for us to be complacent. It is time out for us to be silent. Um, use your voice, whether that is protesting, whether that is donating, whether that is voting and voting, voting, voting is like, I will harp that in your ear. Make sure you go out to vote. That is the one voice that people die for your right. Um, people protested for your right. People led a whole civil rights movement for your right to go to the polls and vote. So make sure your voice is heard and it is accounted for. All right, so I'm off my soapbox. What we bring it to you today is a wig review. I haven't done a wig review in a minute because natural hair products have been busting my head with these launches, okay? So I've been trying to keep up. I actually had this unit in my arsenal for a minute and I'm just now getting around to it. So let's go ahead and get into it. It is the Sensational Butter Lace HD wig and this is the style. Oh, it's just Butter Unit 1B. It doesn't have a name, but it is the Bob style. I'm going to show you guys the stock card. So look like a cute little bob. Because, you know, it's summertime. Time to get summertime fine. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's bob season. So you're going to be seeing me bobbing and weaving all summer. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I love me a good bob. I told y'all already. Bobs make you feel yourself. So anyway, let's go over the specs real quick. This is supposed to be virtually undetectable HD lace. Blends with most skin tones. Okay, you know, here we go. <laughs> here we go now. Here we go with that skin tone because your girl is heavily melanated and we really want um, this to work. So it's a ear to ear lace with a five inch deep pan parting area. And it's also pre-plucked with baby hairs along the, the hairline with natural density. So we gonna see, okay? We gonna see if you gonna do, if you gonna do the dang thing sensational so again I don't know if I reiterated but the, the name of this is butter unit one okay so I'm assuming that they released they did release a lot in this line um, but this is butter unit one and I got her in the color 1b so let's see oh this texture is cute this is cute okay that's natural <coughs> that texture is really like a nice uh, Nice yucky texture. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but baby, baby. Now I'm looking at it, this is kind of dark. And I probably should have got it in a two, but it's fine. We'll make it work. So I'm looking at the parting space and it actually looks pretty decent. So let's go ahead and pop her on our heads, shall we? If you want to see how this wig looks on me and my final thoughts, make sure you stay tuned. Oh! And if you made it this far in the video, hit that subscribe button for your girl. Come on now. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload. So let's go ahead and get into this wig. Okay, so I'm looking at the lace that I just cut off. It looks a little ashy. <laughs> so I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to go in the inside like I normally do in all my videos. I do want to say that it has two combs by the temple area and a comb in the back and you have your adjustable straps. Um, the It looks like it's pretty... Big cat friendly, but this is not brown lace. So I don't want y'all to think that it's brown by any means. It actually looks a little yellow ashy color. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be a little bit more on the brown side, but it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and sh um, pretty much just put my foundation on it and see if we can make it work.
right, so I am back. I have styled this wig and I'm actually quite feeling her, okay? Um, she's really, really cute. Like this is gonna give you a definite, definite look. So right now she's retailing on Sam's Beauty for $39.99 and I think the other websites, Glamour Trash, she's $39.79. So she's retailing for right about $40. For the price point, I think this is a cute wig. Um, I really, really like the style. So I guess I'll just start with the pros first. The style is really, really cute. It's giving me a straight um, blunt cut that I am obsessed with for bobs. Um, the parting area was actually pretty cute. I only had a little bit of a problem trying to find the part because the hair kept flying everywhere. So it took me a minute to actually get to the parting the way that I wanted it to. Another uh, pro for me is that I felt like the lace was very thin. Um, it did blend pretty easily. Like even if I come in up close, it looks really, 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 really good. Um, I like to show y'all up close because, you know, sometimes their reviews are way in the back and you can't see for real, for real. But I feel like this blended pretty, pretty well with my foundation. I was a little nervous because of the ashiness of the lace, but it actually did blend pretty good once I applied my foundation. So I don't have anything there. I didn't glue my unit down just because I didn't feel like it today. However, I do think if you were to glue the unit down, you would actually, it could blend even better than probably how I have it. Um, but for me, this is pretty good. I mean, you can't see the lace. Um, and that's that's what we want is undetectable. So for me, I think it did pretty well. I don't know how everybody else in the wig community felt about this wig. I just going off my personal opinion, I think that it's fine. I do have some cons. Let's talk about it, all right? This wig sheds way too much for it to be a bob, okay? It's a bob. Why am I pulling hair off of everything? What was the reason? reason? What was the I reason? Just explained, I just explained the reason. What? That is a pet peeve of mine is the extreme shedding. Do I think that it would be better uh, later on um, after I brush it a couple times and actually settle into the wig? Maybe. I don't know. But when I'm doing the wig and styling the wig, I just, for a bob, do we have to have a whole pile of hair on the floor? Like, is it even necessary? To me, it's unnecessary and I don't know. But I also feel like the shedding is a contribute to the texture. This is not one of my favorite textures. I, I'm not feeling it. Um, To me, it feels kind of... Something about this texture, it just feels synthetic. And I don't know, I don't, I could be, this is my own personal opinion. I just don't like the texture of this hair. Me personally, I have had some synthetic hair that felt like human pressed hair. This doesn't feel like that. It, it's cute and it looks good. It doesn't have a shine or anything like that. Um, but if you're just running your fingers through it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It feels synthetic. So I don't think that this is going to last really long. I think this is going to give you a look and that it does. Um, but as far as one of the bobs you want to keep around for a long time, I don't know if it's going to hold up. That's just my personal opinion. I run with it, whatever. Um, but I've had bobs that gave me more life and this one is okay. It's cute. It's giving me a look. It will go for the weekend, but will, is this one of my favorites? No, it's not. Um, overall, do I think it's worth the coins? It just depends what you want to spend your money on. Me, personally, I don't have to have this wig. I don't have to have it. It's cute, and I'm going to rock it this weekend, but it was just okay for me. However, I did like the lace, so maybe I'll try a different style within the Butter Lace series and see what I think about it. But right now, eh. It's all right. It's just all right. Like on a scale from one to 10, I give it a seven. Okay. And I'm more so the seven because of the cut. It's cute. So that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if you tried this unit for yourself and are you thinking about picking it up? Also, if you are on Instagram, make sure you follow your girl at, at just underscore DJ. I love to hear from you. DM me your questions, all of that. I post these looks in my stories. This is actually going up in my stories today. I hope you guys stay safe. Make sure you're making a change out of your community and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.